Close your eyes and watch your breath. And keep watch over your mind watching the breath. Make sure they stay together. It's this second level of awareness that you're trying to train, the one that watches what you're doing and can pass judgment quickly and accurately on whether you're doing it right or wrong. And to see that, of course, you have to be really clear and still. It sounds like a catch-22. You can't see things clearly until your mind is still, and you can't get your mind still until things are clear. But what actually happens in practice is that you work at it by approximation, work towards getting clearer and clearer, more and more in control. So if you catch yourself slipping off, just come right back. But it's up to you to catch yourself. We can't expect a voice to come out of the sky and let us know when we're doing something wrong all the time. Karma would be a lot easier to learn if there was such a voice saying, Watch out, you're doing something wrong, don't do that. But it's not there. You listen and there's silence. So you've got to turn around and look at what you're doing and the results. Unfortunately, the Buddha doesn't have you reinvent the Dharma wheel every time you're making a decision. He warns you about the things that go against the precepts. Those are just absolute no's all the time. And gives you some ideas for what to look for. And to think about the fact that sometimes the results of your actions take a long time to show. Other times they come quickly. And all too often we can confuse some of the quick results with the long results. In other words, things may seem okay in the short term, but over the long term they're not quite so okay. So this is why we have to learn not only from our own actions, but also from the wisdom of others who have gone before us. This is why we help one another along. But our understanding of our actions and the results gets better and better. As we work on the assumption that if we're coming from a skillful intention, the results have to be good. Now, skillful intentions and good intentions are two different things. A good intention can contain some delusion, in which case you mean well, but you end up doing, doing harm. But a skillful intention doesn't have that delusion. And that's what we're working on as we meditate, is to get rid of some of that delusion so we can see clearly how things work in our mind, how things work as we act in the world outside. So the impact of our actions can be better and better, both inside and out. 